that's the angle you're going to take. You're going to question Steph Curry's leadership. Podcast. My name is Neil, and today we are talking about Steve Kerr scolding Stephen A. Smith for questioning Steph Curry's leadership ability. Check it out. I'm sure that he knows that this team is kind of all still moving in that same linear upward direction. Um, we talk every single day. You know, um, that's what the the season is about. That's what um, being a team is about. It's um, collaborating and um, sharing thoughts, sharing ideas. Um, trying to keep everybody confident and moving forward and motivated and you know, Steph is uh, as good of a leader as I've ever been around. I mean, the guy is an amazing human being and what he's done the past decade um, in leading this team through all of the ups and the downs and uh, the turmoil um, for anybody to question Steph Curry's leadership. Um, it's, it's actually uh, kind of sickening to me. You know? And I saw some of that. Yesterday. It was disgusting. I'm talking about one of the finest human beings that I have ever been around. And uh, but that's the climate that we live in. And, and these guys, um, it's part of part of all of this is just um, the climate we live in, and, and the, the arrows that are you know slung at these guys, and the, um, the judgment, the criticism. Um, that's fine. But it's part of it, and it's not easy. We're all human beings, and um, so that's that's a big part of the job these days as a professional athlete. You have to deal with with everything, and you have to accept it. Um, but there are times when you kind of have to say, "Really? Like that's the angle you're going to take? You're going to question Steph Curry's leadership? Like really? We're going to do that? Think about that. Think about that. Okay, so." That's all I got. Really? Like that's the angle you're going to take? You're going to question Steph Curry's like leadership? Release. We're going to do that? Think about that. I'm like, boy, it seems like every day I'm coming out here and talking about somebody having an issue with Stephen A. Smith. Somebody disrespecting Stephen A. Or being offended by what Stephen A. said about them. This is Stephen A. crossing the line almost every single day with a whole bunch of different people. And he's making enemies. In this case, somebody who never bothers anybody, who is the ideal citizen. No scandals, no issues, no baby mamas, no nothing. All Steph Curry tried to do was the best and the right thing. Never been suspended, no ejections, or maybe one ejection or something like that. But no issues, no problems with him. And Stephen A is questioning why he can't lead Draymond Green. This doesn't make any sense to me. And obviously, you know, I side with Steve Kerr, you know, rebuking him and, and you know, ripping Stephen A because this is just out of nowhere and it's uncalled for. I mean, what do you really want Steph to do? Draymond Green is, is his own man. He's obviously uncontrollable. So what is there, you know, that he could actually do to affect any change in Draymond Green. I'm sure he, that he already has spoken to him and he's encouraging him to do the best thing, do the right thing for years, for 10 years, or maybe even more than that, All right? But Draymond Green is gonna be Draymond Green. He's stubborn, he does his own thing. As you see, he's out of control, completely out of control, and Stephen A is aware of this. So I don't know why he's bringing up this whole thing with Steph Curry and involving Steph Curry in this and trying to place blame on him. All right, anybody deserves some blame. I would say it's the, the Golden State Warriors organization who should have suspended him for a lengthy period of time to show a message, give a message to him to show that, you know, the things that he's doing should not be done. All right, when he, especially when he hit Jordan Poole, they should have suspended him. All right, so he'd be on alert that next time it will be even worse. But Steph Curry, he's not at fault here. And uh, I'm really puzzled as to why Stephen A. Smith brought him into this. But that's about it. So until next time.